Over the past decades, viruses spread by animals have caused severe diseases in people. That was the story of SARS, MERS, and now, COVID-19. As the global population surges in coming decades to almost 10 billion people, changes in land use will prime the planet for future spillovers of infections. The question is not if they will be future pandemics, but when. And most importantly, will we be ready? We just might. There is a new weapon in the fight against global diseases, the supercomputer. During the global COVID-19 pandemic, we used them to simulate almost everything. From the microscopic world of the virus to the many possible ways to treat the infection. Understand how the virus spreads. Or predict the future course of the pandemic. Using supercomputers, we can look at the spread of the virus as it travels through the air from one person to another and study the effectiveness of masks, air conditioning, and social distancing. Or move down to the microscopic level and simulate the virus in amazing detail to understand how it pirates our cells to reproduce. This coronavirus uses spikes to latch on to human cells, coating them with compounds called glycan chains to make them invisible to our immune system. Computer simulations have revealed chinks in this armor, small regions free of glycans that are vulnerable to human antibodies. Enzymes like this one help coronaviruses infect our cells. Scientists can simulate in a matter of hours how this and other targets respond to hundreds of drug candidates to find new antiviral drugs which may work for new variants, even novel human coronaviruses. But a promising treatment can sometimes come at a high cost. Because viruses borrow our biochemistry to multiply, they are hard to combat without also damaging infected cells. The drugs employed to treat the disease can occasionally cause life-threatening side effects such as disturbances to the rhythm of the heart. Luckily for us, simulations of human cells, tissues and organs are becoming ever more sophisticated, allowing doctors to explore the effects of an infection on the entire body. We are entering the era of exascale computers, machines a thousand times faster than the previous generation. More powerful machines combined with new knowledge, artificial intelligence and smarter software will help us understand and fight these silent enemies. When the next pandemic comes along, and it will, the virtual human will be ready to simulate the virus and its effects. And devise solutions to the pandemic at pandemic speed. <laughs>